subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any video from my channel. Yo, welcome to Camera TV. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share, share all cool things like Facebook and Reddit and Instagram and wherever else. And guys, I gotta do it. It's the Black Clover episode 20 review. You know what I'm saying? There's symbol at the Royal Capital. I like this episode, man. Uh, and there's one part I like in particular a lot, but uh, we'll get into that in a little bit. So let's get started. So the episode starts off with Asta waking up out of a week of sleep because, you know, obviously he was injured. So he was not out for a week, whatever, and Noel was worried about him, all that stuff, whatever. So then Yami, the, obviously the, um, the leader of the Black Bulls, comes in and tells him, hey man, now that you're awake, go check out the Royal Capital, you know what I'm saying? You got, you know, some in there, go see him. And he told Luck not to go because Luck was trying to fire everybody, like always, you know how that go. So they go over there, whatever, and, uh, you know, Asa never been in the Royal Capital or a place like that, so he's, you know, flipping out, you know what I'm saying? How cool everything looks and everything like that, whatever. And then... Obviously, you know, they meet up with uh, you know, Mimosa and Klaus and come to find out, which I don't know, like, he kind of got that sense before, but Mimosa, you know, when he, when Asa said hi to her, she kind of like ran off. Come to find out, she has a crush on Asa. She don't know why, like, she don't know what it is, you know, completely whatever. She was just like, she gets nervous every time he talks to her and stuff like that, whatever. So Mimosa and Noel are talking or whatever, because you know, Noel has a crush on Asa, even though she don't want to admit it to herself. And Mimosa, has a question to Austin and she don't know how to you know figure it out yet. So they go to talking and going to freaking out whatever that both of them have a crush, but you know, whatever happened. You know, that's it is what it is. And then they go to the um the door and they see who, who else? The wizard king. You know what I'm saying? He came to greet them. They were surprised. So my thing is, man, like everybody got a thing for Austin, man. I, I kinda feel bad for you, you know, man. He ain't getting as much play as Asta. I don't know why everybody likes Asta so much, maybe because he's saving them or whatever. I have no idea. But I still seem like he's getting a lot of play, you feel me? And uh, obviously, Luck, he, he, he needs he need to chill out, man. I mean, I like Luck a lot, you know what I'm saying? But you can't be fighting everybody, man. Like you, now, you, now you can't go on certain missions or certain areas because you're trying to fight everybody, man. Sometimes you need to just chill, Luck, all right? And obviously, my dog, I still out here, whatever. I, you know, he was out for a week. You know, it's, things are things are picking up. You see, like, the episode was going pretty cool. I, I liked it so far, so, you know, especially because Mimosa and, and Noah are checking him with dog, so. That kind of made me happy, whatever, so, you know what it is. So after the Wizard King comes and gets them, he actually takes them to a secluded area or whatever. And you kind of find out the real reason why he, brought, why he wanted them is to see Yuno's new ability or attribute or spell or whatever. So then, you know, he asks Yuno to see his Grimoire, Yuno breaks out the Grimoire, gives it to him, whatever. And he reads the spell and he realizes what it is. He asks Yuno if he can read it yet. And Yuno's like, no, you know, I only used it once, whatever. And that was, you know, obviously during the fight, whatever. But he couldn't call it out since then, which has been like a week ago. You know what I'm saying? So he was like, oh man, there's a siphon, the the wind spirit of the four great attributes, whatever. So it seems like it's a really powerful ability, whatever. I guess they chose Juno for this era. So it seems like it's going to be a really powerful tool and it's going to help Juno out. And they also said, the Wizard King said that it's going to grow with him and get stronger with him. So that's going to be really cool. So then obviously he wanted him to use it, but Juno couldn't. So here comes Asta, you know, he breaks out his grimoire, he's like, look, I got a new spell too, because, you know, he wants to impress the Wizard King. So he shows him his spell, and the Wizard King can't, can't read it. He was like, I don't know what, what these characters mean, whatever. So then Asta's like, well, check this out. So he pulls out the sword, you know what I'm saying, from his grimoire, whatever, and he was like, uh, hold it, whatever. So the Wizard King grabs the sword, and the sword is really heavy. He didn't, he didn't expect it because Asta was able to swing around like, like nothing, you know what I'm saying, because he works out all the time. So he grabs the sword. The sword's really heavy. He's like, man, the sword's heavy. And then uh, he, he starts realizing that the sword's absorbing his magic as he's holding it. And he was like, the only reason why Asa could use it is because Asa has no magic. Obviously, he doesn't tell Asa that, but whatever. So then, then he invites them to his old ceremony thing where they're going to give out the stars to the top people of, you know, each magic knight group, whatever. You know what I'm saying? The Golden Dawns, the Black Bulls, the, you know, all, the Crimson Lions, all them, you know? So then he invites them, you know what I'm saying, to be a part of it, whatever, and they go in there. And I ain't gonna lie, man, a lot of these dudes getting big number stars, six, eight, nine, you know, all of them are going up levels, you know what I'm saying, because it, it has levels to, the, you know, before you become Magic Knight, you know, the Wizard King, whatever, you'll be like intermediate, you know what I'm saying, class, you know what I'm saying, or whatever, have a junior Magic Knight class, whatever, all that stuff, so, you know, those all been, you know, giving gold stars and see, seeing if they meet the criteria to go up to the next level, so, that was pretty cool, man, I mean, as far as Asta and Yuno's ability, man, they seem like... They obviously you know they're gonna be top notch, but I mean I like I don't know if uh, you know ability is slowing down time also that would be cool I think it is you know that might have something to do with it or he just moves really fast because when he fought Mars 
it kind of like everything slowed down, you know. And Austin's ability, I ain't gonna lie, man, that job look OP as me, OP to me. You know what I'm saying? The world where everybody use you know magic or whatever, he could absorb magic and he could deflect and repel it. I ain't gonna lie, I still look like he gonna be a force to be reckoned with. But we kind of expected this. This is you know what you know their main characters, and they're both peasants. Even though you know they're both peasants, they're very powerful. So I can't wait to see how they grow. You know what I'm saying? How they grow and what else happens, whatever, as far as the show goes on. And now for my favorite part. After the whole, you know, everybody getting their stars and everything, and whatever, they go to a little banquet, and the Wizard King has to leave because he had um, other issues to attend to, right? So he goes, whatever. <clears throat> everybody goes to the banquet, and they, you know, all the, you know, people, Golden Knight, Crimson Lion, all them, whatever, they were just like, you know, hating on, uh, you know what I'm saying, Asta, you know, Noel, Mimosa, Klaus, and all them, just hating, you know what I'm saying? And they're going in on Asta, but Asta, you know, Asta don't really care too much. He was saying he's been he's been hearing this all his life. So he was like, man, you know, I ain't sweating. He was like, man, they really get into me, but good thing I'm used to it, you know what I'm saying? And then they started going off on you know, calling him a peasant. They started going off on Mimosa. And they started going off on everybody, man, you know what I'm saying? And then finally they came to Noel. And I was like, dang, let's see what they're gonna do to her. They wouldn't go, you know, obviously her brothers and sisters when they're going in on her, talking about how she can't control her magic, and third. And then the brother said, be gone. And he poured water on her head. She was about to take off. My dog, I said, grabbed her arm and said, you ain't going nowhere, basically. You feel me? He jumped on the table. He was like, listen, I thought y'all would be cool. You know what I'm saying? I thought I was really happy. You know what I'm saying? To meet you strong guys, whatever. But you're just like the rest of them. And you know what I'm saying? And one of the guys tried to use a little earth magic to rock, um, wrap up Asta. Asta wasn't having none of that. He pulled out his, his sword. He cut right through that... Um, freaking uh you know dirt or whatever you want to call it and he was like listen i'm gonna gain a bunch of merit and i'm gonna become the next wizard king i love that part man i i love it i love when you know main characters outspoken and all that stuff you know what i'm saying that's why i, I like i really like luffy that's why you know what i'm saying like yeah i like the naruto as much as you know even though I'm, I'm more of a sasuke fan than naruto fan but luffy was very outspoken luffy did not care about what everybody think and Luffy was all about his friends, and Asa the same way. Asa did not have, didn't bat an eyelash when they were talking about him. He didn't care, you know what I'm saying, because he's used to it. But as soon as they talk about his friends, you know what I'm saying, disrespecting his friends, that's when he turns up. And that, that was my favorite part. It just embodied the type of person Asa is, you know what I'm saying, how he really cares about his friendships and how he cares about the people around him. It just, you know, it was just a main character hero type thing, and you know what I'm saying, especially, I love, you know, good speeches, and it was a very good speech by Asa, so... That was a great way to end off the episode for me. I liked it, whatever, you know what I'm saying? I, 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 I like how they showed like, him getting madder and madder. Like, you know, every time they'll say something, you see a little, the vein get bigger, a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger. Finally, he was like, I'm not having this no more. So, I don't know, man. I really like the way they end off the episode. I like that. I like that Asa, you know what I'm saying, asserted his dominance. And I like Asa, you know, had to check them boys, man, because they disrespected his friends. And, you know what I'm saying, they're, they're just majors too, you know what I'm saying? I, 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 I rock with Asa. I, I definitely agree with what he did. And I, I think that was the perfect way to end the episode off. If I had to grade this episode, I would give it an A+. Plus, man. I liked everything about the episode. I liked that Asta snapped on everybody. I liked it, you know what I'm saying, they showed the new abilities from Yuno and Asta. I just liked the whole episode. I thought the episode was cool, whatever, you know what I'm saying. But my obviously the main part I liked the most was the way Asta reacted, you know what I'm saying. I thought that was very heroic of him and just, you know, of a main, just very, you know, indicative of a main character. And I loved it, man, so... If I, if I had a great day this episode, I'm giving it an A+, plus, man. I, I love that part, so. Well, that's it for me, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share, and share all cool things like Facebook and Reddit and Instagram and wherever else. And, uh, guys, you know, get in the comment section. Let me know what you think about the episode. Did you like it? Did you dislike it? How do you feel about Asta? You know, how do you feel about Mimosa? How do you feel about their new abilities? Do you think Yuno's ability is better than Asta's ability? I'm not going to lie. I wish I could say Yuno's ability was better than Asta's, but... I'm not gonna lie, man. That that absorbing magic and the, the um, repelling and deflecting magic to me is too OP. You feel me? Um, but you know, get in the comment section. Let me know what you think about the episode, and I will see y'all next time.